Thanks for watching Your Oxford, everybody. I'm your host, Jerry Accioni. Unfortunately, Sarah can't be here with us today. She had to work. Ha, 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 ha. I got the day off. <laughs> She's going to hit me later on tonight, I'm sure. But anyways, uh, unfortunately, she couldn't be here. I hope everybody's had a great holiday season. New Year 2018 already. Hard to believe, isn't it? Uh, I want to say a huge thank you to Christine. Of course, we are at Horizon Natural Health Center here at 34 Harvey Street in Tilsonburg. Beautiful spot. If you've watched some of the episodes already, Salt Cave. An actual Salt Cave is here in Tilsonburg. Uh, when Sarah was first telling me about this, because of course Sarah's been here before, um, I, I blown away. But watch some of the other videos and you're, you're going to see even more of it, by all means. Uh, we are here talking with Gail and Cam. We are talking the Oxford uh, County Rainbow Coalition. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank thanks. you. Good to be here. Tell us a little bit what the coalition does, who you represent, and everything else in the community. Sure. Please. So Oxford County's Rainbow Coalition is a group of um, service providers, uh, community members that come together monthly to discuss issues that might be affecting lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer individuals in Oxford County. Um, and we often shorten that down to LGBTQ+. Plus. Um, plus. And there certainly yeah. are more yeah. um, initials in that uh, short form, but in order to make things easy, that's kind of how we've decided in all of our literature to, um, to reference who we represent. I think it's kind of naturally accepted as well within the community, mm -hmm. you know, that that's okay to, mm -hmm. to, to call it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that, uh, yeah. for lack of a better word, I guess. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always gets that mixed up, LGBTQ. Yes. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Um, and and we have so we have met representatives from the community as well as um, the co um, members of the the service providers in mm -hmm. Oxford County. So, um, and that can be allies as well. So it doesn't necessarily mean uh, members who are identifying right. as lesbian, gay, bisexual, tra trans, or queer, but there can be allies as well that sure. that participate. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and basically the goal of the coalition is uh, to make Oxford County a safer space for. Right. LGBT people and uh, advocate for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know they got they got a great voice. I got to say I've been reached out on a few different events and things we've already had the pleasure to attend. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody wanted more information or like, how do they reach out? How do they they find out more? So probably the easiest way is through Facebook. We do have a Facebook page, so if people search out Oxford County Rainbow Coalition, they can find um, our page there, and either sending a private message might be the easiest way to get information, um, but you can also see events that we're holding or things that we're promoting on that page as well. Uh, Kim, you want us to tell kind of the role of um, what you're doing with the coalition? Uh, yeah, so I've been on the coalition a year. And uh, I'm a registered nurse as well, so um, social justice and advocacy is something that's important to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I live in Oxford, and uh, I just thought this would be a great way of getting involved and helping to make Oxford safer for myself and also young people that are queer. Yeah. And uh, so I've really spearheaded the safe space training um, with the coalition. We had our first uh, safe space training last week uh, with uh, Canadian Mental Health, and that went well. And uh, so we're looking at expanding that um, to other uh, service providers, organizations that are interested. Be so that. they can reach out to you as a coalition then, and you'd be willing to yeah. kind of sit down with them, put something in place, and you were talking about doing some training. Yeah, so if people are interested, they can contact us through Facebook or contact me. I work for Public Health, so they can always reach me there, um, and we can arrange meet with them and see what their needs are and really we want it to be very useful so hopefully we can tailor tailor that training to the size of their organization and the needs that they may have specifically. So what we have right now in place and kind of that CAM has worked really hard on is is a basic training so that it really helps for people that maybe are new to um, creating a safer space um, but it can also be used as a refresher for people who maybe had other training um, but you know, need need a little bit of an update. For sure. Mm -hmm. Now, do you find going into regular businesses you can assist? 
Yeah. Like I would, I would yeah. think you go into some big businesses, and yeah. this would be excellent training for them. Yeah, yeah. and right. um, we also, I mean, uh, did a project. It's called the Bathroom Project for uh, transgender people that live in Oxford, and uh, we had information packages for businesses, uh, helping them to have gender-neutral bathrooms because uh, half of trans people um, can't access a bathroom safely. Um, mm -hmm. They may be face harassment simply going to a mm -hmm. um, the wrong bathroom. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining Sorry, us today on your Oxford. Thank you I think much. this is uh, really important. Get any events you got going on. Make sure you share them with us. Make sure you add them to our calendar on our website. Of course, it is free. So, and uh, we'll uh, actually help spread the word. Thank Sounds you. good. Thank Thanks you very much. Yeah. Thank you. And don't forget at home, you want more information, be sure to check them out. Check out their Facebook page, like their page, follow along, and um, you know what, you want some more information, reach out and say hello, introduce yourself, okay? Big thank you again to Christine. Thanks for allowing us to take over your reception area here at Horizon Natural Health Center. Um, check out the cave. Come by, purchase some uh, salts and... Yeah, it's, it'll transform you. I'm kind of looking forward to Sarah has already made me promise that we're going to come back here and enjoy that salt cave. And now I can see why. So again, everybody, Happy New Year's. Hope you had a, a great holiday season from all of us here at your Oxford. Have a great day. And don't forget, like, comment, tag a friend, and share. Till next time, we'll see you later.